Hello friends, welcome back to Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, we are going to connect MySQL Server in Visual Studio Code. Also, we will fix some error that we will face while making the connection to the SQL Server. I have noted down all the important steps here in this notepad and we are going to follow these steps one by one and I will explain you each step. Let's begin with the step one. This is our first step. In this step, we need a MySQL extension. For this, we need to open the Visual Studio Code and we need to go in the extension search box and then we have to type MySQL Management Tool. And after that, we will install it. Okay, so here, this is the Visual Studio Code and now I will click here. This is the extension search and now I will type this keyword MySQL management tool here in this box. Press enter. And you will see lots of results. So we have to look for the first one. Just click on it. And here you will see uh, details on the right hand side. So we have one uh, install button, just click on it to install this uh, extension quickly. And finally, you will see this message after installation of this extension. So we have performed our step one successfully. Now we will jump to step two. In the step two, we will open the Explorer tab and we will see MySQL is added to this section or not. Let me show you. So first I will close this stuff from this place and click here and then you will see the Explorer tab and we have uh, so many different things here. So at the bottom you can see the last uh, option is MySQL and nothing inside this tree when you're trying to expand it. And now we are going to follow the step three. In the step three we are going to manage or create a new connection so for this we need to click here to add connection once you click on it you will see this kind of box so here we have to give the host name means you have installed your mysql on the local host so the host will be local host so this we need to put in that box after that we need to provide the username so the default user is root press enter then we have to give the username which is root after that this will ask you the password that you have given at the time of installation of mysql then this will ask you for the port to connect so please provide the same user id same password and the port number that you have used at the time of installation of the mysql if you have changed the port for any reason so give the give that port number here otherwise we will not able to connect to the mysql okay this is the certificate path and uh, this is optional so you can simply press the enter to skip this step and after this you can see on the left hand side we have the local host entry in the bottom we have this message initializing the sql tool services for the mysql extensions when you expand this you will find this kind of error message associated here so when you see when you hover the mouse cursor then you can see the details like this client does not support the authentication protocol requested by the server consider upgrading mysql client so what is happening wrong here let me tell you so let's understand what is the reason of this authentication error what is happening mysql server 8 what we have installed wants new authentication type from the mysql client and the default mysql client which is associated here in the visual studio code and 
not supporting that authentication type. In that case, we need to use a simple way in which we will create a user and we will assign a new user ID and password. In that way, we can connect the MySQL server easily. So from the step eight, I have given the solution. Let's fix this. Now create a SQL user that will use the simple authentication method. I'm calling it the old way in which we will give the user ID and the password. Now we need to search the MySQL installed folder and we need to go there. Let me show you. So this is the installed location of the MySQL server on my system and this is MySQL server 8.0 and now I am inside the bin folder. Great. So we are completing our step eight. Now jump to step nine. So here we need to open the CMD. So in the address bar, just type CMD and you are inside this the folder and the CMD prompt is open. In the step 10, we are going to create a user. For this, we need to go inside the MySQL command prompt. For this, we are going to run this command MySQL hyphen user. We need to give the user name hyphen P that will ask you the password. Let me show you how you will type this command. This command is MySQL space hyphen u specify the username which is root hyphen p press enter then you have to give the password after the authentication you will have this mysql command prompt at this place we will run some simple command to create the user and we will assign the id and the password so this is the command to create a new user create user this is our user SQL user and this is the command and the password I'm going to assign is password one to three. So simply copy this command which is given in the description and paste it here press enter and you will get the message query okay that means this command executed successfully and our user which is SQL user and the assigned password is the password one two three and user created successfully now we have to give the all the privileges to this user for this we need to run one more command look at this place this is the command to assign the all the privileges to this new created user press enter and then you will see the message like query okay that means this execution is successful. Finally, we need to validate our privileges for that purpose. We need to run one more command, which is flush privileges. So all these commands given in the description box. So you can look all these commands. Okay. After typing the command, press enter. You will see the message queries. Okay. That means execution. It's done successfully. Now we are at this step 12. We need to go back in the Visual Studio code and we will delete the existing connection. And then again, we will try to create the new connection by providing the new username password. Okay. So this is the new password for our newly created user. You can see in this notepad. Okay, so we will perform 12 and 13 step in the Visual Studio code. Let me go back here. Just delete the existing connection. Again, click on this plus type localhost. Press enter. Then you need to give the user. This time we will give the new user which we have just created. Give the new password press enter and then give the port number which is 3306 no certificate press enter and soon you will see on the left hand side localhost 
is appeared and just expand it you will have all the schemas available here and your connection is successful when you expand this any schema you have all the details tables views and lots of things you can see here in the mysql workbench i have this ready-made databases which are default available so you can look at here sakila sys in the world the same database are available here if you want to query on this it's easy you have to go to the file and you can simply create new text file or just type sql so this will pick up that kind of intelligence all the stuff or you can do the right click select new query and that query window will appear so you can simply type the same select star from or you can do the right click and show the data so you can view all the stuff what is inside the table this way on the bottom you can see the execution or the messages if you want to run the query written by your own you can write the query do the right click and select run as a mysql query and you will see the results on the right hand side let me show you again so i'm uh, fetching the data again from the different table look at it here so all the records will be displayed here on the right hand side so guys this way you can uh, execute some queries on your selected database inside the visual studio code step 16 in which we are successfully connected and we executed some queries on the database and guys this is all about connecting the mysql server inside the visual studio code and this is all yours i hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and please subscribe to appreciate and for now thanks for watching cool it help